I'm Glade Harris with Backwater Performance. Uh, we're here today at the lake to show you the new XL Bass Boat. It's the EX200. There's all sorts of features and we're gonna kind of go through here. So we carry any trolling motor, uh, Minn Kota, Lowrance, Garmin. We've got space here for up to a 10 inch graph or we have optional mounts that you can mount up to as, as big as you want. We've got a recessed spot here for the, the foot pedal for your trolling motor. We've got bow trim adjustments and navigation light adjustments here. Really, really cool, comfortable uh, half butt seat here. Nice XL embroidered logos. You could sit in this thing for hours. One really cool thing about these boats um, and something you'll, you won't see in any other bass boat is this uh, T-rail system. Um, it goes the full length of the, of the hull here and XL builds all sorts of accessories that go in this T-rail. Anything from rod holders, cup holders, tackle storage, things like that. Heck, we even have a mount for a Camp Chef barbecue grill. They come standard with this high quality carpeting, also with this standard reflex flooring. Optionally, you can get the entire deck uh, done in this reflex foam flooring. We've got tons of storage for rods in this boat. There's the main rod storage. This one holds nine rods. This secondary compartment here holds another six along with any other gear. All of these storage boxes come with this raised lip watertight seal to keep all the water out of all your storage compartments. Move back here to the side we've got room for another four rods with these uh, boat buckle system to to keep everything down when you're flying. There's also an option to have either a single console or a double console. If you uh, opt to go with the double console, it has a, a watertight glove box. Keep all your, all your clothes, your sunscreen or whatever dry inside of there. One really nice thing, really accessible cooler here. It's a 10 gallon cooler. And all these, these, these compartments drain. So we move to these seats. Uh, we've got these really nice bass boat style seats. This one's a little jump seat that folds up or it doubles as a step. Let's move to the, the console here, the business end of the boat. We've got an, an adjustable foot plate. You can also get a hot foot for, for this boat as an option. Up here, you can decide to go with several different plates here that fit. Hummingbird, Lowrance, Garmin, Graphs. You can go up to a 10 inch here inlaid into the dash, or else you can do a single 12 inch. You can do dual nines, uh, one for you know your, your graph, one for the navigation. Really cool custom sport steering wheel. We've got these paddle style trim and jack plate adjustments right here, really easy to get to. So you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel to do anything. We've got standard adjustable driver's seat, adjustable steering console, and we've even got a adjustable fish ruler here built right in. On the back of the boat, we've got this live well system here, baffled, keep your fish separated in the two different sides. This live well has an automatic recirculation system. So while you're on the water or even off the water, it's constantly recirculating water. Keep your fish alive. Lots more storage here in the back. These compartments are fiberglass compartments and they'll also drain tackle boxes or your anchors or your or just anything you need in here. We've got this, this is also standard, this back seat, super comfortable. All right, the motor. This boat comes standard with a 150. Maximum capacity is a 200. With these 200 horse engines, these things will rip up to 70 miles an hour. So we've got the optional uh, Atlas hydraulic jack plate, or you can also opt for the manual jack plate. They all come standard with Sea Star hydraulic steering. They come standard with a three bank battery charger. Got a battery cutoff switch back here. We have four available metallic paint schemes, red, blue, white, and orange, all in this really nice marine grade paint. We're about to hit the water. Go see if we can't uh, put this thing to work. <laughs> 